You wouldn't believe it, but I had a wasp stung me on the back today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Vinyl finds of the thrift store. Check it out. Charity shop, yeah, charity shop, that's what we call them over here, the charity shop, sounds so posh doesn't it, no way is like cool and like calm as the thrift store, anyway, yes, charity shop finds, finds that I've come across from the charity shop. As well as vinyl, cassettes and other odds and ends, start off with cassettes. Um, picked these two up for 50p, um, Elton John, Breaking Hearts, an album from the 80s, another 80s album by Donnie Warwick, um, Heartbreaker. Uh, I like the song Heartbreaker and uh, All the Love in the World. Two very uh, nice love songs on there. And of course, uh, Elton John, um, Sad Song, Say So Much, which is just a great track of his. This was a great find from a charity shop. Same one, just picked up those other two. There's this uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. Um, did pay a little bit more than 50p. Those were 50p. This was five pound. Um, yeah, I kind of reluctantly felt I had to get it. Um, you don't often see Beatles tapes or CDs much in the world, even in charity shops. You lucky to see Beatles stuff. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. I do have a copy of it, but it's like a, a Saudi Arabia um, copy. Probably a pirate. Um, yeah, I played this um, as soon as I got home um, with it. And it sounds brilliant. I mean, for a cassette. I mean, wow. Um, I believe this is like the 19, 1987 releases. Um, they have... They're recorded in a particular way, I think. Um... XDR or something, I believe. Although I can't see it on the cassette. Uh, maybe not. It just says Parmaphone. But anyway, yeah, the sound quality is brilliant. I'm uh, really, really impressed. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad I picked it up and that it plays well. Anyway, it's enough rambling. Um, also picked up this um, Bravo 2.0. By uh, yeah, book by uh, Andy McNabb. Obviously, this is the uh, the story told, um, probably by Sean Bean. Um, oh no, yes, it is. It's narr narrated by the author, um, Andy McNabb, not Sean Bean. Um, love the book. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad to pick this up, and I will give it a listen. Um, Love the film as well. You can get this on DVD by Sean Bean, of course, the actor who was in it. Uh, picked up these um, seven inches um, Hoffner, Hoffner, I should say, at the uh, Oxford Union. Um, my dad used to have this um, this EP. 
really really good really really funny love the sketch uh, the brick layer very very funny to listen to so yeah have that i think i paid like a pound for that um going much years later um into the 80s i have this uh shaka shaka khan remix i feel for you um not quite as good as the original but hey yes had some really good um vinyl finds in the shouty shops um start off with this 12 inch carly simon single why what a great song this is why this is the full extended version um that's a great song surprisingly this song um never actually done very well in the uk chart it might have got in the top 30 maybe not not where it really should be um which would, would have been a definite top 10 this is a cracking pop song by uh, carly simon so glad to have that been after that for uh, quite a while um come across this gladys knight license to kill single um it's great to see james bond stuff um so yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a collector when it comes to James Bond. Not that I have much of it really. A few pieces here and there. Uh, picked up this uh, Labby Siffery. I'm not sure that's right or not. Um, single is so strong, um, which is just a great, great song. Um, just a plain black cover. Um, picked this one up today for two pound. Uh, picked up this. About a month or so ago, um, a bit of George Formby. Yeah, I know, George Formby, you would have thought it. Um, I kind of like a bit of George Formby. Um, I just don't know what it is. It's, it's got a charm of its own. Um, I gave it a listen and um, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I kind of bought it just to, to hear it at least once, which I had. Um, so, yeah. Um, not sure if I want to keep it though. But anyway, put this one up today. Uh, Twenty Fab Number Ones of the Sixties, Sixties uh, compilation. It's got the Beatles on there, Billy J. Kramer, Cedar Black, the Hollies, Manfred Mann, the Beach Boys, Cliff Richard. Yeah, great, great stuff. And that was uh, that was two pound as well. Pick this up, um, Jean Perret Rampel, a flutist, his first jazz recording, flute, uh, suit for flute and jazz piano. It's um, partly sealed. Um, like the George Formby, I just wanted to, to listen to it really to see what it was like. I was quite curious because I do like a bit of jazz. Um, it's okay. Um, I kind of thought, you know, if I'm not too big on it, you know, I might be able to uh, VCLT it to somebody who does like jazz. So uh, I may do that with that one. Uh, picked up this uh, Chaz and Dave Mustn't Grumble. Um, this is like, I don't know, pound or two pound or something. Um, it's got the hits uh, Rabbits and Poor Old Mr. Woogie. Not that I know that one, but I do know Rabbit. Um, I do know Wallop, Wallop is on here, Ain't No Pleasing You, I know that one. Um, so yeah, I do have a, two other albums of theirs. Um, I do quite like uh, Chaz and Dave, bit of a guilty pleasure I'm afraid. Um, bought this soundtrack, Singing in the Rain, this is like £2. Um, I know it says 8 but uh, it actually is £2. Um, love the Gene Kelly song Sing in the Rain and also uh, Good Morning I quite like um, Make Him Laugh it's a great film it's a great musical and uh, yeah I'm glad to have the soundtrack because I, I do like I do like me soundtracks another 60s uh, compilation uh, musical memories of the 60s 14 great hits pick this one up today Monday, Monday, Mamas and Papas. That's a great, great song, that is. Uh, Silence is Golden. The Clapping Song by Shirley Ellis. Who knows that one? Um, hey There, Lonely Girl by Eddie Holman. 
What a wonderful world through with Sam Strong, everyone knows that. Ola, Ola D, Lara Da, Marmalade, um, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Brian Holland, uh, Len Berry, 123, Swinging Blue Jeans, The Trogs, With a Girl Like You, that's a great, great song. Um, Dizzy, Tommy Rowe, um, and a bit of Richard Harris is on here as well. Picked up this one, um, Captain and Tennille, Make Your Move. Um, I do rather like the song, um, where is it? Do That To Me One More Time. I just think that's a really nice love song. And uh, I do have a copy of this already, which I paid a bit of money for from the charity shop. But uh, I think this was like a pound and I kind of couldn't resist to find it at a bargain price. Um, so yeah, I may also uh, VCLT this one. Um, I have uh, Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. I do have uh, two or three copies um, of this album. Um, it is a brilliant, brilliant jazz album, this one. Um, what a Wonderful World. Came out in the 60s, I believe. Uh, great songs. What a Wonderful World, of course. Cabaret, uh, The Home Fire, Dream a Little Dream of Me. Give me your kisses, I'll give you my heart. The sunshine of love. Hello, brother. It's just, oh, it's just brilliant, brilliant. It's so um, melancholy. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, yeah, it's just, it always, almost sort of brings a tear to your eyes hearing these songs and what, you know, the, the, the lyrics and uh, just the way it's done. Um, Brilliant stuff. So yeah, I kind of brought that um, with uh, John Bellamy in mind, thinking that he may really like this. He may do. Um, I hope he does. Um, and that plays really, really well, that record. Um, brilliant. Uh, these are all pretty much today's finds, really. Erasure, Wonderland. Um, I don't really know the album. I don't really know the, the hits on here. It's very hard to see. They're like in black, black lettering. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'll give that a try. Eurythmics Touch. Saw this today. Um, Who's That Girl? Uh, pretty much the only song I know on here. Um, so yes, um, very good group of the 80s, so I, I now have that one. Um, Simple Minds, uh, Once Upon a Time. I do like Simple Minds, um, but I can't say I really know the songs on here, so yeah, it's going to be one of those I'm going to listen, see if I like it or not. Picked up uh, a couple of Gary Newman. Uh, Gary Newman um, is an artist I, I like to uh, collect now. Um, I don't particularly know these albums. Um, picked up uh, The Fury. I don't know if this album's any good or not. Not too familiar with the songs, so I won't read them out. And today I picked up this one, uh, The Pleasure Principle. Uh, this. Um, I think the only song I know is Cars on here, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, give it a listen. This cost a bit of money, paid a bit more than what I wanted, this was £7, and I believe this was 5 The Fury was 5 Paid a little bit more than what I wanted to, really. But hey, um, this was a, a killer find in a charity shop. They had some great vinyl. Um, didn't have a lot, but what they had was really good stuff. Um, and I think I brought that Y single, which I showed from this, this particular shop. And uh, I kind of missed the records as I was, as I was sort of wandering in. Um, I picked up a few CDs, but missed the vinyl. It was kind of tucked away. And this woman came in with a record and uh, she pulled it out 
and uh, she said, look, um, I kind of bought this for my husband and um, he's basically turned around that uh, he already has a copy. Um, there's nothing wrong with the record. I just want to, you know, give it in, have my money back, have a refund. And uh, the person behind the, the till was like, well, you can't do that because there's nothing wrong with the records. And for copyright reasons, I can't give you your, your refund. And they're like, hey, you know, why not? You know, and she was saying, well, you could copy the record. You could go home and copy the record, then come back with it. And that's like copyright policy of theirs or some some crap. And they were like, well, you can you can come back with some, an item of clothes and say, look, this doesn't fit. You know, have your refund. You know, you should be able to do this. Anyway, they started to go off on a tangent about this. And they kind of like stopped. And I said to the lady, look, I'll buy that record for you. You know, how much did you pay for it? And she said, I paid paid £14, I think she said. And um, I said, yeah, okay, I'll buy that. And uh, form of a hold, it was this. Led Zeppelin 2. So, yes, I saw this and I was like, oh, I've got to get that. Um, so, yeah, I, I paid her the money. Um, I took a bit of a gamble because this record could be damaged. Or scratched or something but I kind of went on my instincts and uh, thought no she looks okay you know she looks genuine um, the record is a little bit rough around the edges I don't know if you can see that it's perhaps not as uh, minty as I normally uh, like but uh, it's a bit of an impulse thing um and i'm glad i have it so yeah yeah so yeah a bit of a story there hope i'm not bored you too much but yeah really glad to have that and uh yeah anything of uh led zeppelin uh finding the wild like that is uh is a real buzz um boys and girls uh brian ferry uh glad to pick up another brian ferry album he seemed to be doing that quite a bit recently, picking up Brian Ferry stuff. Taylor Dwayne. Picked this one up for a pound, I think. Um, Tell it to my heart. That's a great pop song. Love it. Uh, another recent find. Um, Air Supply, Making Love, the very, the very best of. Um, has Lost in Love. Um, all That With Love. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad to pick up our greatest uh, hits for theirs for like, uh, I think that was 50p, so uh, that's pretty good. Um, the Buggles, the Buggles, the act, the age of plastic, sorry, the age of plastic. Yes, what a fine day, eh? age of plastic. Yes, I picked up the, uh, the very best of the Bee Gees. Yes, I've been after this for quite a while actually. And I found it in the wild, um, has uh, 19 of their songs, uh, this was done in 1990, so I suppose it was up to that point. Um, it has Ordinary Lives on there, which must be their most recent uh, one at, at that particular time. And it's a very good uh, best of, rather like this, I have this on CD as well, um, I've always liked it. So yes, I finally have that. I have this classic album um, from the late 70s, I believe, um, The Buggles, um, The Age the age of Plastic, uh, has their number one song, um, Video Killed the Radio Star, so uh, yes, glad to have that, because I heard this is a very good album, so yes, I have that, uh, this was a cheap Cheap two pound, no four pound fine. Pay a little bit more than what I wanted. Pound or two pound was really what I wanted to pay for this, but never mind. Um, and that, that that is the the power by uh, Gloria Gaynor. Yes, um, never seen this before. Um, featuring the sensational new single uh, "Do You Dare Call It Love." It features other hit songs. She's she sings on here. Um, the Eye of the Tiger, 
Um, the heat is on. Every breath you take. Uh, feels so real. Broken wings. Power of love. Plus many more. It also includes a free 12 inch um, greatest hits mentally. I will survive. Uh, never can say goodbye and reach out. I am what I am. So yeah, I will give this a listen. And I'm not in an hour to, uh, you know, whether I, uh, whether I keep it or not. Um, but uh, we will see. Picked up this soundtrack. And this is not really, really something I would normally go out and seek out by um this has really been uh, recommended by people on the vc who, who said it's a very good soundtrack and i saw it out in the world and charity shop paid a little bit more than what i wanted i paid eight pound and that is the war of the worlds yes um awesome Wells, is it who wrote the book um not sure now um but anyway, the, the uh, Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War of the Worlds. Apparently it's a really good soundtrack. Um, yeah, and I saw it and I thought, you know, why not? It's quite a, I think it's a two LP uh, album or soundtrack. So yeah, glad to have that. And uh, finally, um, today I found um, the Hits album, Hits 3. I haven't... Uh, got this i've got one or two and a few others later ones um they really were competing with the um now that's what i call music i think is it the first or second one they did outdid the nows um but they kind of lost their way a bit eventually and went bust but uh, for a little while they were competing with the nows and they were pretty good. I think they were more sort of American uh, influenced. Um, Whether well, the Nows or more sort of British music. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got some great songs on here. Aha, take me, uh, take me on, take on me rather. Uh, what else is on here? Um, Jennifer Rush, Power of Love, The Cars Drive, Cindy Lauper, Time After Time. Just some great stuff on here um the cult she's still sanctuary echo and the bunnyman um being on the dancing horses madonna dress you up um yeah so yeah pick that up pay four pounds which is perhaps a little bit more than i wanted but uh thought i'd push the boat out being that it's for charity and uh yeah that's about it really um i hope you enjoyed my video um bit of a long one to what I normally do but then I had brought quite a lot of stuff um, I mean a good chunk of that is I bought today um, paid yeah paid 50 quid today don't tell the missus um, yeah but anyway till my next time um, I'm doing a video um, subscribe and like if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye for now